Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be become silent and the answers will come. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please subscribe. So become silent and the answers will come. This is very powerful. It's a very important message. And it's for all of you who are in the narcissistic relationship or you have exited it. For you veterans, please drop comments below. Help the newbies out in the community. Point being is becoming silent and the answers will come. When you were in the relationship with the narcissist, first of all, most times you did not even know what you were up against. In other words, you were up against a narcissist. You thought you were in a stable or healthy relationship with an individual, working for the same goals, dreams, aspirations, headed in the same direction. It's not the truth. The truth is this individual behind the scenes was trying to tear you down. They were trying to make you look not good. They were trying to make you look not professional or loving or kind. In other, in other words, they were trying to take away from you and your essence. Now, when you were in the relationship, what did you do? You kept on working harder and harder for the narcissist and for the relationship. Maybe you got married, had kids, you relocated, started a business, all the things I mentioned on the channel. Any one of those or many others could be the reason why you stayed in the relationship and you were really working hard for this individual. But what did you do many times? I'll tell you what you did. You reacted, you did not respond because you were walking around on eggshells. You were on high alert most of the, of the relationship because you were constantly being given an endless to-do list and you were running around doing things for the narcissist and perhaps for the relationship and you really didn't take care of yourself nearly as much as you should have. I know that because believe me, if you stayed in the relationship for a period of time, you were trained and groomed on how to behave. And if you stepped out of line, you would experience a rage fit or the silent treatment, etc. But becoming silent and the answers will come. This is when you no longer give the narcissist information about you. It's when you have the ability to utilize gray rock. And remember, gray rock is a technique in your tool, in your toolbox of, of the weapons of arsenal, the arsenal of weapons against the narcissist. Gray rock is when you just become boring and give one or two word answers. I'm sorry you feel that way. I understand. Got it. Things like that. You don't give them information. And this is not a good thing for the narcissist because the narcissist is used to you reacting to them. Keep this in mind. That's why the narcissist throughout the body of the relationship, they play offense all the time and you are always on your heels playing defense. And I'll tell you why right now, because you didn't get the wisdom. You weren't taught this in schools. You weren't taught how to combat narcissism. You're getting the wisdom on my channel. You're becoming awakened and aware educated and empowered. Now, having said all those things, becoming silent and the answers will come. This is when you now focus your energy and you place it back within yourself and you don't give your energy to the narcissist. Now, again, I understand that many people are still in these narcissistic relationships. Maybe it's your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, brother, sister. Maybe it's your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whomever. Point being, if you've identified that this individual is a narcissist or a toxic individual, I strongly suggest utilizing gray rock and or looking for an exit plan to remove yourself from the relationship if you can do it i understand everyone's circumstances are different i have to mention that because one minute spent in a narcissistic relationship is one minute too long and what this will what happens when you're in these narcissistic relationships is believe me they they leave you with your head spinning you become an extension of the narcissist you are playing defense all the time and when you are not silent in other words when you're reacting and not responding to the poor behavior or displays the poor behavior of the narcissist or by the narcissist, it's not a fun place to be because you can't be yourself. You're not being heard, you're not being listened to, you're not being valued, you're not being respected, you're not being you. But one thing you are doing is you are reacting. Again, the narcissist is playing offense throughout the body of the relationship and you're playing defense because you don't know what you're up against. It's true. When the relationship ends, this is when however it ended, this is when you need to really become silent and the answers will appear because this is when you can settle down. This is when you have time to invest in yourself and you can separate yourself from the crazy relationship you had. And I don't say that word lightly and I don't use that word often, but the narcissistic relationship, the further you get away from it, you will be, your head, you'll be scratching your head saying, how did I stay in that that long? How did I do this? I don't get it. What happened? Like, well, you were lost. You were living and or existing, I should say, in the narcissistic fog. You weren't living your life, you were living the narcissist life and they knew that. Having said these things, when you are silent, becoming silent and the answers will come. This is when you have time to introspect, 
This is when you have time to learn about yourself. This is when you have time to heal. This is when you have time to journal, to talk to a qualified therapist who knows about narcissism. And my hope is they have experienced it, unfortunately, so they can actually give you firsthand experience and insight. This is when you will watch videos. This is when you will journal, you will meditate. You will spend a lot of time by yourself. But what you won't be doing is communicating with the narcissist and you won't be sharing information with them because my hope is either A, you have utilized Grey Rock, or B, you've gone no contact, blocked them, removed all people and flying monkeys associated with them, and begin to heal. Now, that last part I'm gonna jump into for a moment. Why I suggest frequently to block not only flying monkeys, but people associated with the narcissist is because if you are one person away from the narcissist, in other words, if you share a mutual friend with the narcissist and you're communicating with that person, well, believe me, that person could be a flying monkey without even knowing it. And there are casualties in these relationships. You know that by now, but many friends and or people that were associated with the narcissist that perhaps were on your side, you will have to let them go also. Again, do what's best for you, but the path is to isolate yourself from anybody that's associated with the narcissist. So becoming silent and the answers will come. This is when you really introspect. It's when you slow your life down and you just invest in yourself. Let's say, for example, you can sleep in late now. Let's say that you can exercise again. Let's say your health is returning. Let's say you're journaling. Let's say you're getting your creative juices flowing again. Maybe you're an artist or a musician or you like to exercise or take uh, photography pictures or things like that. You're creative. This is when this stuff will return to you slowly. Remember, the healing path is not linear. In time, in your time, you will make the proper decisions to heal. It will be a long, bumpy road. The journey is not linear. It go takes you up and down, in and out, all around. That's the healing path. But again, if you do the work and you place your energy within yourself, you will heal. It's gonna take time, you have to understand this. So now, becoming silent and the answers will come. This is when you will really introspect something the narcissist can't do and you will look back and say wow when did i meet the narcissist was i in a vulnerable place did i just lose my spouse was i grieving the loss of a family member did i just relocate to a different town city or country did i was i new in the group or organization that i was a member of when or where i met the narcissist was the narcissist a new member of the organization that uh what uh, that i was a part of did I meet them at the gym and become their gym friend and we started working out together, next thing you know, we became friends or romantic interests, whatever. Did they move in right next door to me? Were they a coworker? Was it a relative that you could never identify until recently? You'll have to understand this. And once you understand and process about the narcissistic relationship that you're thinking about right now, believe me when I tell you, you will go down the rabbit hole of all the people you have surrounded yourself with virtually your whole life, maybe classmates, maybe family members, maybe acquaintances, maybe past lovers, romantic interests, who knows? But you will be thinking about this, and this is a good thing, because you're gonna have to process all of these relationships, not as much in depth, not even nearly as much as the narcissistic relationship, but believe me, your spidey senses will be tingling, and your radar will be up, and now, once you are healing and or have healed, and you've reached the mountaintop of indifference, the pinnacle of indifference, when you don't care about the narcissist, you wish them the best of luck, but simply stay away from me. When you get to that point, that's where the abundance happens. That's where all the doors open for you. That's when the opportunities are all around you. That's when you fall in love again. That's when you can buy a house. You can take a class, teach a class, read a book, write a book. You can create a website. You can do whatever you want to do because you don't have the weight of the narcissistic relationship on your shoulders. Now, having said those things, becoming silent and the answers will come. This is so true. Think about it. If you meditate, Think about this for a minute, and if you do meditate, great. If you don't, you should consider it. Even if it's for a few minutes, just get started, because silence is where the growth happens. Silence is when you are within yourself and your mind, and you're understanding, wow, silence really is amazing. And I have 24 hours in a day now, and I can meditate whenever I want to. I can invest in myself. I'm not running around all over, paying bills and filling up gas tanks and picking up this and running errands and doing that and being gaslit and waiting for texts or waiting for phone calls that never come or making plans that get canceled at the last minute or going to pick somebody up and they're not there. In other words, you're not wondering what's going on with another person's life anymore, which was the narcissist, because you don't have to do that anymore. You're now living your best life. You're not focusing on yourself. Keep this in mind. The narcissist has multiple sources of supply. Whether you want to admit it or not, that's up to you, but they do. Whether you were married or not, doesn't matter. The narcissist still had multiple sources of supply in front of you and behind your back. That's why there were 
many times on one of their three smartphones. That's when they would. That's why they would come home late, or that's why they would not eat dinner with you, or that's why they would make plans and then break them, or that's why they would string you along, or that's why they would financially abuse you. All these things they're looking for resources from individuals. We now know that. But when you're si when you you're silenced, the answers will come because this is when you will really get out that pen of paper and process the relationship. Why did you go through it? Could you have done anything different? Should you have tried different things? The answers there are very simply, you couldn't have done anything better. If you made it this far in the video, I can assure you, you gave the relationship everything you had. And most likely you are an empath or a kind, loving individual. You didn't want to quit on the relationship. You didn't want to quit on yourself or on what you had created. You wanted to continue to work for it. But the thing is, remember, imagine if you will, you're in a, a boat and you're rowing one direction and the narcissist is poking holes in the bottom of the boat. The boat's not gonna sink and you can row all you want to. You can be the strongest person on the planet. It's not gonna keep the boat afloat if one of the two individuals doesn't want it to float. That is reality, that's what the narcissist was doing. But when you process all of these things and you understand that A, the person you're thinking about, the narcissist, they can't change. B, they have real concerns uh, because what they are doing is they're manipulating people. They're taking advantage of people. They're destroying lives and relationships. And what they do is they can't love, they don't introspect, and what they want to do is continue to take from unsuspecting individuals all over the globe. You were one of those people once. So those are two things. Another thing is there's nothing you could have done any differently. I'm sure you tried your hardest. I'm sure you did your best. But one more day in the relationship, despite the fact that you were working as hard as you could, it, it wouldn't have mattered. That relationship was going to come to an end eventually, once they extracted what they wanted to take from you. Again, time, money, energy, effort, love, empathy, resources, whatever it was. And they knew that. That's the disgusting thing about these relationships. They knew entering the relationship they were gonna take from you. They were hoping you would never figure them out. They were hoping you would be pining for them. They were hoping that you would never pick yourself up and dust yourself off by the bootstraps and begin living your best life. They were hoping you were never gonna go no contact, block them. They were hoping that you would not make it, sincerely. Think about these things. It's all true. And that's why when you're silence, when you're when you go silent, the answers appear because you can now really introspect within yourself. See, you're now a different version of yourself. Remember, there are three versions of you. The version of you before you met the narcissist, the version of you when you're in the narcissistic relationship, being manipulated and abused, and the third version of you, once you're out of the relationship and you've healed or you are well on the healing path. That's where the abundance happens. That's where the growth happens. That's where the magic happens. That's where the narcissist did not ever want you to make it to get the message loud and clearly. So this is a very powerful video to let you know that your silence speaks volumes. Your silence is pow empowering. Not giving the narcissist your energy is the key, it's the path. Let them shrivel up and fade away into the darkness, into the quagmire of low vibrational people. That's where they belong. That's where they've always been. The thing is, is they wanted to vibrate high with you, higher with you, and they did. And then they slowly took you down into their vibrational level and that's what they wanted to keep you in. And they wanted to exchange vibrational levels. They wanted to steal your high vibrational level and to keep you kept in the pit of darkness on their low vibrational level. And it did work until it didn't. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon, evening or morning. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. Remember, if you are going to bed listening to this video, waking up to the video, on a train, plane, automobile, if you're at work, good job. If you're consuming it while you're exercising or walking or even light meditation, God bless you. Get the wisdom, apply the wisdom, if not now, when. Understand that this simple message, when, you go, when you're silent, the answers appear, they do. They've always appeared. It's just that you were in the relationship, running around, doing so many things, you didn't have time for yourself. Now that you do, continue moving forward each and every day. Everyone, Remember, you are not alone. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. God bless you. I love you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye, guys.